My dog Vivea is four years old today. Hey Vapors, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about Atmos e-liquid. <laughs> guys, yes, today I'm trying three flavors by AtmosRx.com. This is their e-liquid, and I have kiwi, strawberry, cherry, and watermelon. I have three fruity flavors. They do have, I think, like 30 flavors on their website, and they do offer it in 12 milliliter bottles like this, or 30 milliliter bottles. The 12 mil bottles are $7.95, and the 30 mil bottles are $11.95. They do offer 0, 6, 12, 18, and 24 milligrams nicotine. I have zeros right here. So this is what the boxes look like. on the back they have ingredients on the side I wasn't able to find a PGBG ratio and looking here on the bottles it doesn't say the ratio either but we're hoping for a high VG this is what their bottles look like and the label art is similar for all of the flavors just the fruit and name change these are made in the USA and the first flavor I'm going to try is the kiwi strawberry flavor it definitely smells like strawberries a lot with a little bit of kiwi. I'm trying these flavors out on my Troll RDA, atop my Cool Fire for TC100, but if you don't use an RDA and you still want a flavor test without committing to an entire tank full of e-liquid, you can always invest in these 510 dripping atomizer barrels. They're super cheap and easy to use. You put a couple drops down in there, put a drip tip on top, and you get a couple puffs of the e-liquid. I used to use them all the time in my flavor testing videos until I figured out how to use an RDA so I will leave a link below to those in my favorite section if you're interested in checking them out for yourself. Without further ado, smells good. Let's try this kiwi strawberry. Well, based on the throat hit or lack thereof and the cloud production, I'd say these are leaning towards a higher VG. It doesn't bother me to vape them at all and when there's higher PG or even 50-50, it's, it's kind of a throat irritant for me at least. Um, so. Even though I don't know for certain, I'd say that these are leaning towards more VG. As far as the flavor goes, it's very candy. It's very um, artificial on the first vape, so let's go. It's not a bad flavor. It's just not um, fresh kiwi or strawberry. I'm definitely getting an artificial candy flavor of strawberry and then the kiwi, I couldn't really smell it, but it definitely comes out on the vape. It's strawberry all the way through and then when you're exhaling, it's definitely, there's some kiwi in there. Not too bad, not bad flavors at all. And it's not a super intense flavor either. So let's try the watermelon flavor. It definitely smells like a watermelon candy. Again, this is a very candied flavor. It's very, um, tastes artificially watermelon, but it is a watermelon flavor. Like, I guess if you would have, like, the old-fashioned suckers that were fruit-flavored, kind of reminds me of that. Has almost, like, a powdery feel, like, coating on it as you're vaping it. So I would say I would lean more towards, like, Jolly Rancher-type candy flavors versus fresh fruit flavors. And last, we are trying the cherry flavor. Mmm, wow, smells very, very cherry. And it's actually, I was almost thinking it would be off-putting, but it wasn't. Like, I actually, it smells like kind of like those cherry pies. Those, like, little cherry pies. Very sickly sweet. It's a very heavy flavor, and it reminds me of uh, cough medicine. It's very artificial cherry, very sickly, sweet, thick cherry, so it definitely is like, even the aftertaste, I'm like, did I just take like some NyQuil? And they do have other flavors, other fruit flavors, dessert flavors, tobaccos as well, and I will leave a link below to these if you're interested in checking them out for yourself. If you've tried them, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of them. But that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more videos. Also, don't forget to turn on the bell notification if you don't want to miss out on daily videos because being a subscriber does not mean you will see every video upload. I don't know why and I hope that gets fixed soon. 
check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like eLiquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Snapchat. All those social media links will be below the video as well. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please consider joining Kasa.org and fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia and thank you so much for watching.